hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to create our own custom object deduction model which detect which we will detect basically timber wood and then with the help of alternative solution we will create a counter so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as i mentioned today we will create our own custom object detection model which detect timber wood and then with the help of alternative solution we will create a counter so for that i have created a repository yolo 11 timber wood i will mention the link inside description box simply copy paste the link inside web browser then go to the code and click on download zip it will download our zip format repository as you can see we successfully downloaded now just open downloads and this is what our repository right click then we have to click on extra call and extract it will extract our folder here it is as you can see this is what our folder now let me first show you what is basically a video so this is what our video file friends and as i mentioned our goal is to detect these timber woods and with the help of alternative solution we will create a counter we will basically mention here a line and with the help of detected object center point because the video is moving so it will uh, this is what our line and video is moving like this way so when that center point touch the line we will have here a counter we using ultralytic solution simple so for that we will use here roboflow data set the roboflow pre-trained data set for timber wood detection so inside repository i have mentioned data which is a text file and this is the link for the data set roboflow so just open uh, chrome browser press ctrl plus v and hit enter it will open the data set for detecting timber wood simple as you can see this is what our data set which we will use now first uh, we have our data set which is the ready data set now we need a google collab so let me first open google collab so friends i have opened google collab now simply click on upload click on browse and go to the repository in downloads we have our repository and select our collab file and it will upload our collab file on google collab machine so we successfully uploaded our collab file now go to the runtime then change runtime type select python 3 select t4 gpu click on save and then click on connect so we are connected now simply we will run our cell one by one so let's just run our first cell done next cell which will install alternatix so we have done with installing alternatix now we will import our packages which is ultralytics import yolo ipython.display import display image and now we will cross check if ultralytics yolo 11 is perfectly installed so for that we will use yolo 11 s.pt and doc.jpg image so let's just run our code so friends we detected object as you can see from image we have person car dog backpack and handbag it means our uh, ultralytics is perfectly installed as simple as now we want to mention here our code from roboflow so let's just open the roboflow and here you want to first log in with your gmail id for roboflow access so just log in with your gmail id using your uh, normal gmail account or google account and then click on download data set then here we will select download on my own download on my own so just select it download on my own then click on continue here you have to select the yolo 11 format which is the latest format and then select it show download code simple and then click on continue and it will generate the code so this is what our code as we always do simply copy the from just copy the from from to at the end just copy the from to at the end and on our collab file we will remove this old from to yellow 11 and we will paste the new code simple and we will run our cell done 
now just click on this small folder icon go to the data set folder because we create a data set folder and inside that we have our here it is as you can see inside that we have our folder which is up for our data set click on it then data.yml double click it will open our data.yml file and this is the class which is logs and here we want to mention our folder path so train go to the train three dot click on copy the path and remove the path from data.yml remove it and press ctrl plus v it will paste the new path then val so val valid click on three dot copy path remove the old path ctrl plus v and then uh, test so test three dot copy the path remove the old path from data.yml and ctrl plus v done now ctrl plus s and save the data.yml file now we will train our model so here simply we want to mention our data.yml file so this is what our data.yml file three dot copy the path and remove the old path from data.yml remove it done and press ctrl plus v it will paste our new data.yml file path now we are ready and we will simply start our training so friends as you can see our training is started it will take some time meanwhile i will pause video so friends we completed our training process and our model is ready our model is saved inside runs detect and train folder so go to the runs then detect and then train weights and inside that we have our base.pt model three dot click on download and it will download our base.pt model so we successfully downloaded our model minimize all these things and open file manager go to the downloads base.pt right click cut move the model inside our repository or folder paste it done now simply we will open main.py so inside that main.py as i mentioned we will use ultraltix import solution means from ultraltix we will use solution simple so now go to the tools manage packages and search for opencv hyphen python hit enter first package click on install button done it will install opencv hyphen python then we need ultraltix ultraltix package hit enter first package click on install button done it will install ultraltix done so this is how we will install all the packages import cv2 from ultraltix import solution then this is the function this is basically ultraltix code which they mention on their ultraltix solution page simple so dev count object in region video path means the video file and the model path simple then uh, because i don't have here a gpu so i will skip some frames if you have a gpu then this count is equal to zero there is no need to mention you can simply comment this line and this count is equal to zero here it is as you can see i have called it here and i will skip two frame because i don't have any gpu if you have a powerful gpu simply comment these three lines continue if count count plus one also this count simple and then cap is equal to c2 dot video capture our video path and this is what the region points the line the line which we will draw for counting the wood simple so this is the points and then the counter so counter is just a variable and from this solution from this solution we will use object counter solution from ultra Edix. So show is equal to false because we will show the frame with the help of cv2 im show. So I have mentioned here show by default show is false. The region is basically our region points and the model is basically our model path. And then this is the function for drawing the line points. So I have mentioned here cv2 dot event mouse move function. And then this is how we will call our mouse event function. And then our simple while loop for starting video file and then here i have resized the frame and then here i am zero is equal to we will call our counter we will call here let me show you here uh, here counter dot count counter dot count so we will basically call here this counter this counter variable because this counter is basically the solution object counter method so counter dot count and then simple inside that we will mention image means i am zero that's it 
with the help of ultralytic solution it is now really easy to detect object and create a counter done simple now let me close your untitled file and we will start our main.py but let me show you how do i mention the line because we have here our c2 dot event mouse move function so let's just start our code i have mentioned the video file name already in the code uh, here here vid one dot avi and base dot pt our model vid one dot avi and base dot pt is our model simple so we started our code and as you can see friends it's detecting our wood our timber wood and this is the line this is the line if i open thony python id inside shell this is the line so if you move your cursor on the frame as i explained in several previous videos simply you need to move the cursor over here this is what my line start point so 2260 so i have mentioned here the points as you can see 2251 and same way if you go here you will get the end point for drawing line which is 225497 and simple this is the way you can simply draw the line so now when detected object center point touch the line it will count the object so let me show here i am skipping the frame one by one here it is as you can see we count one then four then ten simple so friends remember one thing the video is not uh, that much clear but but this is the perfect method because we use a roboflow data set and it detect perfectly the timber wood okay so it's detecting perfectly our object and we have here counter as you can see we counted 32 timber wood from this lot of uh, timber wood simple so let me now start here a while loop if i started the while loop in real scenario you will of course you will have a better cctv or better video footage then the code or the then the data set which i have shared with you it will detect perfect timber wood simple as you can see it's counting the object when the object center point touch the line we have here counter simple so we successfully create our own custom object detection model with the help of roboflow data set and we detect timber wood and with the help of ultralytic solution we create a counter I hope you learned something from this video. We'll meet our next video. Till then, thank you, take care and bye-bye.